how to breathe houses. Jamie, the dreamer, forever in another county of thought, miles away, forever adrift at school, routinely sequestered in the vapor of fantasy. At least that's what teachers say, and mothers, and loved ones. The drone of complaints only thickened the lining of this languid detachment, the apathetic mind's careless cocoon. Squishy possibilities from depth unplunged drowned out any critique of this pastime, a pastime that could render which reality immediate? A. Invisible walks along the confines of the countryside, gleaning the thoughts of all. B. Swashbuckling on extraterrestrial domain. C. Scaling mountainous life equipped with limbs elastic. The answer you're looking for is D. No boundary couldn't be broken. None existed. Jamie, alone again, currently soaring around the bend of limitless clouded firmament. This evening scene was backed by a sunset of cerulean gamboge and mauve. Below slept Jamie's town, nestled in bedding of condominiums, foliage, pavement, and the occasional stretch of exposed soil. Each landmark a familiar scene of an important event of Jamie's youth. Milestones of growing up now highlighted by this newfound perspective. Exalted memories merged as the flying thespian weaved between wood and concrete structures alike. The rush of glory seethed beyond Jamie's pulsating esophagus, a rose-tinted thyroid. A pass from an outside point of view mundane, but for this champion, alluring. Almost palpable. Dainty fingers must feel. A gentle caress of a rooftop is the prime ingredient of absolution. But maybe Jamie was this town's fantasy. Hands could not find solitude. Thumbs, pointers, and pinkies clambered about the breeze. Then the scraping, then the flailing. Grown fists could hammer hard, but could not shatter this enameled foundation. Maybe something new would come of this varnish, it seemed, as Jamie's toes finally met something solid. Invisible, maybe, but certainly present. Kicked once more for conclusivity, there would be no moving this force. A boundary to this fantasy land, an unseeable limit. This imposed resistance garnered retort in the form of a quake. A thunderous presence emerged on the horizon of the Kelly Hills that strangled the town. A stone titan. Its surly figure matched that of a cobbled, trunk-heavy god, only hundreds of times to scale. The sluggish creature bore elongated, burly features composed of weathered rock and cocked moss. A voice of gale indicated no regard for evolved language. Plucked from their homes, the infrastructure of trees found themselves in place of floss between jade teeth. The repercussions of such a banal chore frightened Jamie, even outside of the real world. Spools of moss from dental in-betweens showered the A-frames below. A rain of this nature buckled power lines, punctured windshields, thumped cherub gardens. Who could imagine what a bath might do? The necessity of a prompt curtain call was evident, so one acted on the instincts of a rational being. Only, an escape was not waiting, not in the familiar way. The shudder of knees and concentration of will did nothing to lift Jamie's feet skyward from this unfortunate scenario. Legs were proved to be useless tools with the limits of the invisible walls. Frenetic blockades at the limit of each street confirmed this town to be inescapable by sprint. Plan B had worn thin. 
Jamie, in a moment of sublime deduction, decided the next course of action would be to simply will away the golem. This was Jamie's world, after all. Why wouldn't this be under its creator's control? So began the closing of eyes. Ruminations swelled, slowly filling the pulsating tub of Jamie's mind. Drifting toward familiar warmth at uninterrupted pace, one could free themselves. Skin cells, blood flow, mirror. Props of a human being. Nail clippings licked every knuckle to be encountered. Lashes corkscrewed around sweat beads. The one degripping the name Jamie was merely a spectator, as their physical signatures wandered all directions, save Hartward. Such guttural osmosis exposed the neglected plaster inside of this body. Mutated framings, rebar, and decaying rafters had once housed memories of frolic and inane jubilance. Once, there had been a steadfast shelter protecting against the gray world of duty. Once, until this very moment. What appeared to be processed building materials were revealed as the raw elements to compose a new body. An individual's presence would now be calcified. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the drain. Matriculating down the drain was any memory of the bittersweet tulips of yesteryear, the stone ghoul, the mire. Jamie's exposed identity bent, its frames wilted and drowned in the nucleus of the void. Surrounding familiar facial features was the realization that this golem resembled a crude, bloated copy of this land's occupant. It was, for Jamie, an unkind reflection. A moment of ghast, and then the rinsing of menace. This barbarous fetish had disappeared when eyes awoke. Perhaps all was safe. Liberated lids reopened. Awake again, yet uncarried from origin. All around, no titan was to be seen, an imperfect victory. Wind passed through Jamie's face. No ambient matter provoked senses. Jamie, the time capsule, was still. Static in the convict's core stood the truth that there was no slipping away from this cell. Frenzied appeal to a higher power Jamie did not believe in did nothing to denigrate Shackle. A new home in an old one. A place experienced, presently adorned with unforeseeable circumstance. The villain had been defeated, yet the hero lacked liberation. Whatever future may bloom from the same cracks in the pavement Jamie stepped on as a child was not the future one had dreamt of. No aspiration yearns to endure its hometown for a lifetime. But what had always been Jamie's mother's, Jamie's neighbor's, Jamie's peers, was inheritance all along. Jamie could not leave this place. Feasibly, there was no need to. Not now. The elements of a future of penthouses and untold experience crumbled beneath Jamie's growing feet. In time, foliage will sprout between crevices and hallways and markets through Jamie's toes and teeth, memorialized eternally where everything one is made up of resides. This juncture lived inside Jamie's stomach, bone turned to arthritic coil, a bark of granite bereaved fading skin, a childhood dream, an empty dwelling, a destiny of provenance realized.
Master. Realized. 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 Realized.